Welcome to our second quarterly edition of Nelson News for 2020. I'm proud to introduce this edition as we launch our revised purpose and values. Our purpose and values guide us in our everyday work as we strive to do the best for the people we support. You'll hear from five Nelson employees who will discuss how they uphold our purpose and values as ambassadors of our organisation. I trust that you'll enjoy this edition of Nelson News. Uh, respect is one of the key values that Nelson has and uh, with the important thing about respect is you have to respect somebody so that uh, they have they feel valued and that is in regard to I respect myself because I value myself and I believe the same thing I need to respect other people. Everybody everybody needs to be respected and if I don't respect somebody that, that means they don't they don't feel like they're worth it, you know. And uh, and that's one key and that's one key thing which has to be there in any organization uh, whereby there's respect because if you respect somebody that means you you you, you take within you the responsibility of supporting that person. I believe that's the most important thing, you know, in supporting the residents that we do, to bring out their inner part, you know, so they can live their life to the fullest. Um, look, if we can help the residents to have the best quality of life they can, then resilience is a real key factor in that, because there are always times when things change. Um, and people don't expect them. There are times when people get anxious and perhaps upset. Um, and resilience is a really important part of being able to come back and return into that nice quiet place. And I think it takes all the other um, values that we're working at as well to put into resilience. So we need to be respectful, okay? We need to be um, compassionate. We need to be collaborative. Um, and they're all part of being resilient because once we've got those all in place and it's so much easier to bounce back. For people to live their best lives and to be happy, resilience is a really key um, value to have because being able to pick ourselves up from whatever's happened and bounce back into peaceful, calm and happy situations um, is the best way to do that. Compassion means to me understanding that every life is valued and every story is different. It means walking with the person and understanding that the trials and tribulations of their life have value and they come from a place and we need to support them without judgement. And if people do fall down, that we walk beside them and we help them back up again. When you bring compassion to the role, you get to see the true ability of people. You put everything else aside and that sense of self-belief that they gain from that really helps to empower them to then go on and lead their best lives. And by helping them and celebrating every joy, every goal that they achieve, it doesn't matter how small it is, that really helps to impact on that sense of belief and hence empowers them to live the best life. So the value of courage is um, looking at the integrity of your actions and working in the best interests of the person, even if that might not be the easiest thing to do in the situation, but um, it's the right thing and putting the person with a disability central in your thoughts and your actions. So therapists every day have to advocate for people with disabilities. This might be to funding bodies to ensure that the person gets the equipment and the therapy hours that they need to be able to achieve their goals and to um, take part in all of the activities and things that they want to do in their lives. More specifically, as a physio, I need to sometimes reassess someone's um, mobility and that can sometimes mean that their mobility has declined and we need to put more supports into place. That can be difficult for the person themselves but also for the people supporting them and we just need to make sure that we're keeping their best interests at heart, make sure that they are safe, the people around them are safe and that we are maintaining their level of independence as much as possible. So I'm the program support worker at Bonnaroo. Uh, we deal with under 18s that are currently serving a community-based order out of Bankshire Hill Detention Centre. 
Coming from a sporting background, I really appreciate the importance of being collaborative. You know, it's a team environment where everyone's got to fulfil their role um, for good outcomes. We had a participant that we couldn't quite fulfil his needs in the career path that he wanted to take, which was bricklaying. So we managed to build a relationship with a small business um, that would take on guys for a week at a time just to help him out with workload and just give him some opportunity and experience to see if they wanted to take it a step further. We're part of their support circle and we understand if they leave us that might drop away. So we find it really imperative to have those good relationships. So yeah, it's a, nice, it's a soft transition um, and they remain supported even into their adult years. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Nolson News. And remember, if you'd like to know more about our organisation, you can go to our website at www.nolson.com.au or visit us on Facebook. Bye for now.